I just love this city. And this coffee is so delicious. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Jessica. How's it going? I haven't seen Danny? you in such a long time. Oh, my goodness. How long has it been? About 10 years, I think. Yeah, oh, my gosh. We haven't seen each other since high school. I mean, <laughs> it's such a long time ago. Uh, why don't you take a seat and uh, have a coffee with me? I just got a coffee from that place in there. It's so nice. Oh, this coffee is amazing. It's actually my first time being here. I've just moved to the city a few days ago, but I didn't know that you live here. Oh my goodness, Donny, I feel like it's been forever, but you know what? You haven't changed a single bit. Uh, you look amazing too. I mean, it's been 10 years, but it feels like it's only been a few days. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually live right around here in the city. I've got my own place, uh, kind of have a palace actually. So what? it's quite big and it's out in its own little kingdom. Oh my goodness, I know that in high school you used to tell everybody that you are some sort of a prince, but nobody believed you, so you are a prince? Yeah, I'm. well I'm a king now because I've got my own kingdom, but yeah, I was a prince back then and then my dad left the castle to me, now I've got my own place and uh, I've got oh. my own family as well, so it's all a little bit crazy right now. Oh wow, you have a family too? I don't even have a boyfriend, never mind you have a husband and kids. Well, tell me more about your family. How many children do you have? Well, uh, I've got four children, but recently <gasps> we had some very, very terrible sad news. And my wife, Leah, she passed away in a terrible accident. Oh my goodness. Oh, Donnie, I'm so sorry to hear this. I'm, I'm sorry for asking so many questions. Uh, when did she pass away? Was it a long time ago? No, it was really recently. I mean, it was only like well, last week or a week before. I mean, it's just all been such a crazy time, but that's why I'm here on my own. I just had to get away from the kids in the palace for a while and just, you know, get some fresh air and figure things out because my life's just been turned upside down recently. But you know what? Let's just not talk about me and my terrible things in my life. Let's talk about you. What's going on with you? Uh -uh. Okay, well, I'm sorry about your wife, and hopefully you'll feel better soon, and I hope that the kids are okay. Well, me, it's a bit complicated. I had a boyfriend, but it was a really toxic relationship, so I had to get away from him, Donnie. He's a bit of a stalker, so that's why I had to leave my job and move cities. And to be honest with you, I'm a little bit scared even now. I just keep looking around. I feel like he's gonna come and find me. But I'm oh, pretty sure I've had, that he I've won't. had stalkers before as well, and it's a pretty crazy experience. But you know what? You just gotta stay strong and just hope that you're just gonna forget about you. And you know what? Maybe if it gets really bad, you can just call the police. Um, yeah, I know, but I've called the police so many times and I have no proof of him being bad to me. And even him stalking me, the police are just not doing anything about it. Um, anyway, I'm just out today. I'm trying to find a job. I used to be working in a crash because I love kids. And you know what? I just miss all of those kids so much. But I just can't go back to that town. He'll find me there for sure. But uh, do you know any well, crashes you know around here? I've actually got a whole kingdom, okay? It's got loads of little houses down near the beach that are free. There's a crash there as well. I've got kids that need to be minded. So if you wanted to, you could move to my kingdom. I mean, I'll take care of the whole situation for you. You get a new place to stay. You might get yourself a job. I mean, you get a whole new life. Um, really? You would do that for me? After so Absolutely. many years? Absolutely, we're good friends. I know, but we were great friends in high school. So now we can be friends again. Um, Donnie, I think we were a little bit more than just friends friends in high school i used to have such a big crush on you <laughs> oh i know but it was such a long time ago you know we're both grown up now and we've got our own lives so i mean we're just friends and it's nothing wrong we can just hang out together and you know what i think it'd be good for you to start a new life out in my kingdom yeah i think so too i mean i don't even have a mom or a dad or any siblings so at times I do feel so alone and I'm so lucky that I ran into you like that. It must be fate, Donnie, because I didn't even know that you live around here or that you get a coffee in that place. <laughs> you know what? I actually never go to that cafe for coffee. It was just a random thing and you were running there as well. So maybe it was fate that we we're supposed to meet each other today. That's 
so crazy. It's definitely the universe trying to get us together, Donnie. That's for sure. So tell me about your children. Do you have boys, girls? What are their names? Well, I've got a boy and a girl. That's uh, baby Kyla and baby Kai. And then we've got two twins. Well, the twins spend most of their time out with our grandparents because they love them. So Kyla and Kai take up most of our time and they're both little messers, but they're great kids as well. Oh, I love those names. They sound like they're such cute children. I'd love to meet them sometime if you don't mind. I mean, I just love kids and guess what? I think kids love myself. And also, if any time you feel like you need a break or maybe you just want to go out on your own for a bit, I can mind them for you, no problem. Absolutely, that's a great idea. Yeah, you're definitely going to meet them when you come and live out in the palace. So, um, you know what? You can mind them for me. You can hang out with them. I mean, it's going to be great fun. <laughs> sure, I would love that because I'll be honest with you. I just hate being on my own. Not only because I'm scared of my crazy ex, but also because I get so bored. So that will be a great distraction for me. Oh, ice cream? Mm, do you want mm, an ice cream? I want some popcorn. Do you want some popcorn? <gasps> Oh, actually, I'll get a chocolate cookie, please. Absolutely, I've got that for you. Just put that on my tab. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, you thank go. you, Donnie. Mmm, so nice and fresh. Everything in this town just tastes so delicious. And all the people, they're just so nice. In Why the don't town... we just go and sit in the park and have a little picnic and we can chat more about the, the past and uh, see where everything's getting on. Oh, of course. That sounds like a great idea. Hold up, where are you going? Over here to oh, this picnic area. That's so awesome. Excuse, excuse me, we got this area first. <laughs> no, we didn't, Donnie. Come on. Um, Maybe she doesn't mind if we have... Oh, she's gone. I hope it won't be rude or anything. No, it's all good. Let's just take a seat here and you know what? We can chat and we can catch up. Yeah, that's a great idea. Donnie? I can't believe it. What is my husband doing here? And who is this girl? Wait a minute. It's her. It's Jessica. She's Donnie's first love. I cannot believe this. What are they doing in the park together? Eating popcorn and cookies? Having a lovely picnic, laughing and smiling? That's it? I died a week ago. And Daniel Freddy is getting back with his ex? That hurts my feelings so much. That's not right. I thought he will miss me and cry after me, but as I can see, he doesn't even care. Maybe he loved her all this time. Maybe he was happy that I'm dead and straight away he called her to get back with her. I mean, can you blame him? Look at her. She's so beautiful. Her shoes, her makeup, her eyelashes, her hair, even her hair band is flawless. I bet you Donnie is gonna fall in love with her right away and ask him to be his wife. And the kids are gonna start calling her mommy and nobody will ever remember Leah. I mean, why would they? I'm dead now. <laughs> I miss my family so much. I would give anything to be back to normal and to hug Donny and to kiss my children and play with them. <laughs> but you know what? I have to stay strong. I have to realize that there is no going back. I'm an angel now. And you know what? Donny does deserve to be happy. Even though it does break my heart that he chose her. He knows that I never liked Jessica. <laughs> and she never liked me. I just can't look at them anymore. Look how happy they are. That's it. Goodbye, Donnie. You'll never see me ever again.